Alrighty, I have a construction update for you guys today. Um, I came home to edit it, and then I wanted to make a really cool video that should have been posted about an hour ago, um, and I just decided, you know what, I'm so bored, I'm gonna go film another construction update for you guys, just to make sure. I wanna see, because they're moving really quick, the landscapers over at Snoopy, so I wanna go see if there was a lot of movement in the last three to four hours. So I'm gonna go film a pretty late night construction update for you guys, so hopefully you enjoy that one. There might be another one out two hours from this one, um, if all goes well. If there's nothing, then I won't post it. Um, I'll post on my story though, if there's nothing. Um, but that being said, uh, Shockwave was testing today and getting ready. Um, and then by the time I go film tonight, I believe Mindbuster, Wild Beast, um, the Bat, uh, a, a, the, a bunch of other like, like kids rides. Uh, I'm missing a bunch of attractions. All the ones that I haven't tested so far, they'll be running as well. Um, over here, they were working on Cyclone's motor. Uh, a little strange to me because that ride's already been up and running. Um, so maybe they're just doing some preventative maintenance on it um, or replacing a part. Vortex's paint job, so stunning. Like, it looks really good. That vibrant red, it looks good. Like, it looks good. Um, so I'm really excited for Behemoth's paint job as well. So... Um, I'll keep my eyes, I, I, my eyes and ears open for Behemoth's paint job. Again, I'm, I'm expecting 2024. Um, working on electrical on Tundra Twister, it's going to be a, a significant job. There's so much wiring that needs to be done on this ride. Um, and as confirmed on City News, they'll start running this ride at night. So Peter had confirmed that they'll commission the ride at night. A lot of theme parks do that to hide it. They don't want, like, if something were to happen to the ride or something wasn't to go right, they don't want it to be filmed during the day. So that makes sense. That actually makes sense. That's what a lot of parks do. Um, so, of course, they're going to commission at night. Commission means running that first cycle, that first couple of cycles um, and clearance runs. Um so we'll keep an eye out for that as well. Um, I guess I'll have to go hang out at Wonderland for the next like five days at night. Um, with that being said, though, um, the queue line was poured. Don't see anything for the uh, op booth, but I do see the exit stairs. So you see those little footings behind the Coca-Cola refresh. That is going to be the exit stairs, the staircase that comes down. Um, there they were working up by the motors up there. So that was really cool to catch. Um, everything was really like, it's, it looks like it's moving slower. It is moving slower, but again, I, someone did comment and bring up a good point. Uh, again, when you're filming big pieces going in, it looks like, Ooh, ah, but all this electrical work really is tedious and, um, significant. Um, so the person who commented that I forget the username cause, uh, I believe it's Ian. Um, I, I'm sorry if I got it wrong, but yeah, it, it, like, honestly, like you, you're right. You're right. You are right. It is a lot of significant work going on, a lot of tedious work. That's just as important. Um, and yeah, so over the next couple days, it's probably going to be a lot of the similar. Then you'll see the queue line going up once that cement dries, that concrete dries. Um, so yeah, I'm super excited because we're, we're, we're getting close guys. We're getting real close. Um, they had completely cleaned out Whitewater Canyon as well. And Timberwolf Falls is still got some work going on there. Uh, that's a, that's a big project in itself. That's a large cement pad that they are like uprooting and redoing. So that's a, that's a big project in itself. Um, I believe they were trying to get soaring timbers up and running. Cause again, it should be cycling tonight along with lumberjack. Um, Snoopy's Racing Railway is like, honestly, you guys are going to get some really awesome shots of this thing now. They've started the midway and putting in the landscaping fences and they've done some shaping with that grass hill. I'm really excited to see the greenery that they end up planting as well. I think this is going to be Wonderland's most beautiful attraction. I really do. I, I'm honestly starting to think that this is going to be the most beautiful area of the park. Um, Tundra Twister is definitely going to be up there as well, especially if they do a little touch-ups on the dents and dings on that, um, which is normal in ride install, by the way. Every park has that. Every park does that. Um, so here they are installed, like they're, they were drilling holes for the launch shed to come out. Um, so you can see that green little digger thing. It's actually got a drill on it. So they're just drilling holes to install that. Um, and then that secondary launch area has got that shed and they were really, the, the kids area has got the emphasis in the park. I can tell you that because the tarps being up, the little tents being up in the park and all that, the other side of the park doesn't have any of that yet. So big emphasis on the kids area. Obviously this is their most important attraction. Um, for the 2023 season, which obviously makes sense. It's going to be a hit. It really is. Grace Peacock said that on her City News interview. And honestly, I'm really excited for this. I'm not going to be able to ride it outside of like, you know, Media Day and all that. But if there is one, um, but um, 
yeah, so with that being said, um, not much to report. Oh, yes, there is so much to report. I had to land, but I did hear from a birdie that the op booth was installed, the op panel. So I'll probably be able to pick that up when I go fly. Um, so I'm really excited about that. But that, that to me, I, I think I can confirm that has been installed. But I'll go fly before I confirm, confirm, um, which is a really good sign. Like, they're days away from testing, then, if that's the case. And with the landscapers already working, like, there is potential this could be ready for opening day. Tundra Twister, I'm still a little weary on. But with Flat Rides again, like, and Wonderland, Wonderland deserves a lot of credit. They they, they have magic. Like, they're, they're more magical than Disney. Disney takes years to build an attraction. Wonderland looks like they got a whole nother two weeks left before a ride will open. I remember this with Yukon. For those of you who are going to Yukon Media Day, do you remember? It did not look like it was going to be ready, and then suddenly it was ready. They were finishing the ride, like the, the, the station platform and all that, not the actual ride ride. It, that was ready um, right up until, like, minutes before we walked up. Um, they did a little paint enhancements on the water fountain. They were also doing paint enhancements on the buildings, on International, and still working on that secondary entrance at Front Gate. Again, that's going to really help with crowds. So I just wanted to show you guys the enhancements that Wonderland was doing over at Front Gate. Again, a lot of money and enhancements being poured into Wonderland. Um, I, I, when your park is pulling a record uh, season passes and revenue already, like you know, you're going to get a lot of money at, thrown at you. So this is really good news and a really good signs for Canada's Wonderland. I and mean, I just wanted to share that all with you guys because I'm excited and I hope you guys are excited. Anyways, thanks so much for watching today's update. Again, I'm going to go fly again. Um, and if there's something cool, I'll post it. Have a good one, guys. Bye.